So it is Father's Day today and Happy we <laughs> It is Father's Day today and we just saw the movie Finding Nemo. Okay. It is Father's Day and we just saw Finding Dory. We were looking forward to seeing this movie because we like animation movies. Yes, we do. And uh, it was a really good movie. Uh, the story of the movie goes something like this that Dory is now trying to find Dory. That means not it's a lot of people might think that finding Dory means now that Dory is lost. Dory is lost in the sense that she doesn't know where she belongs. So she's trying to find her family or her home. So that's why it's like finding Dory. And um, so the movie goes that she again swims across the ocean and tries to go to some place where she might find her parents and then obviously Marlin and Nemo are part of her journey and then she does find them and then it's happily every, everybody's happy uh, so the story is uh, very simple but what I really liked about the story that is there like the same thing is also there in Finding Nemo that each and every character it's it's adorable like if you have seen Finding Nemo then there are like a lot of fish that go to fish school so they they don't have like a like a big role to play but if you have seen it even in those five six minutes that they are shown in the movie you, you would know you would get connected to all the small fish all the characters so i think the same thing is there in finding dory also that there are a lot of fish lot of characters and but still you will get to know each one of them and each one of them brings something special to the movie uh, i would not really call it a sequel because uh, usually sequels means that there was a story and then what happened after that first movie gets finished I mean sequel is more like an extended story or a story of after so it's not really a sequel I would say that it is another story taking the same characters because uh, if you can see it if you have not seen Finding Nemo even then you can see it and uh, you wouldn't miss a thing it's a story in itself uh, I also like the voices of Helen DeGeneres and uh, Ty Burrell is there and uh, Ed O'Neill is there so these two guys Ty Burrell and Ed O'Neill are my favorite modern family uh, guys so they are also there so a lot of good uh, voices are there the movie was entertaining uh, there is an octopus who's uh, like Dory says he was cranky but he was sweet so he brings his own flavor to the story and it was uh, a really good story so that's it and uh, as Dory said, just keep swimming. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.